Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Joanne and I had a great outing. We brought home 20 beautiful kokanee. They are on the small size, they're running around 10 inches, but they will smoke up just great, make some wonderful kokanee candy. And I think it's important to mention again, kokanee are very fragile. So if you catch a kokanee, the odds are pretty good. They may well not survive. So my feeling is catch them, keep them, don't waste the resource. Don't throw them back and they'll end up being eagle food. Um, that said, it's always nice to catch 14 to 16 inch fish, but remember you go to these lakes where there are a lot of smaller fish, quantity does make up for quality. So what I'm gonna do here is just a very simple filleting technique. I'm gonna cut behind the gill, slide my knife along, and come out with a nice clean fillet, I hope. Couple things, start off with a good knife. I've got a big eddy here, which I like a lot for filleting. And I run this through a work sharp tool sharpener to get a good edge on it before I start. So let's take a look here. Here's our little 10 inch kokanee. I'm gonna cut right behind the gill plate and I'm gonna slide my knife along the backbone and the rib cage. And just like that, there is a nice little fillet. Give this a little rinse. And into my brine she goes. Flip this fish over. Again, cut along the back. Slide that knife along. Keep it right up against the backbone. And then I like to take the uh, little pin knife, uh, I like to take the little pin bones up off. So let's clean this up, this fillet up a little bit. There's a little bit of slime there. We're gonna just cut that out entirely. Cut that off the end here. And again, there you go. Nice little fillet. Put that in the brine. Let's bring out another fish and do it again here. So again, what you want to do is make that nice cut behind the gill plate and slide your knife right along the backbone and the rib cage. That'll give you a beautiful fillet. Doesn't matter whether it's a 10 inch fish or a 20 inch fish, you're still gonna get a great fillet. And you can see how close to the backbone I was with that guy right there. Flip this over. Now sometimes kokanee get a little mushy and your knife, if it's not sharp enough, it's gonna tear up the flesh. So that's a good indicator that you need to go use that work sharp tool sharpener and get your knife a little sharper. Little rinse. Little rinse on this guy. And these fillets are good to go. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But, so check this out. Getting a nice little pile of fillets. I gotta say, I love smoked kokanee. It's one of my favorite treats to eat. My friends and family love it as well. So I hope that helped you guys out a little bit and we'll see you on the water.